So I've been thinking that there's an active hatred from the establishment to anything English, anything traditional, and the people, the little people. Now, I watched, or I didn't watch, I should say, I read uh, on Google actually, it, it, it was said it's almost illegal to be English to show any signs of being patriotic. And this was written by a man of colour, so I think he was anyway. But he was saying his understandings were that the police, the establishment, and many others despise Englishness, the history of England, whatever. And it said in there that, that the, the elites, the intellectuals, really do loathe the people who are the working class. They, they look down at them. And we know this to be true because you can feel it coming off. George Orwell said that he'd never understood or but he could see the fact that the, the, the ruling classes just despised um, the English people, the little people. Um, and it, from what I'm reading and what I'm seeing, they want to rub out anything that's English. We're okay at the moment with the Scottish, the Welsh, the Irish, at the moment. And you can celebrate those days as much as you like. I mean, people will plan ahead for what you're doing on Paddy's Day, St. Patrick's Day, right? Um, and they do that all over the world. But if you want to start talking about waving at St. George's Cross, there are people that were actively, who are English by the way, get offended by that. That shows the level of insanity within these people. Why is it you love that? There are people that can look at that flag and get the same feeling as they would do looking at a swashnicker. And I don't, I, I can't compute the level of weapons grade dumb that these people are, but they are. Now for years, the, 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 the left have been preyed upon. They've been used as the Trojan horse to effect change. Because they were naturally, when they came out of the womb, caring people, and they wanted to do the right thing, many of them, right? then the manipulative, psychotic, sociopathic creatures from the system used them uh, and indoctrinated them to believe that anybody else who wanted to hold on to their culture, their traditions, was literally an us. Now there is a gap between the two, and it's a slow gap, but either way, right, they, they can link nationalism. They say, well, oh, these people are nationalists. Hitler was a nationalist. Do you know, it'd be interesting if you actually had a look at some of the speeches. They've uh, put it into English. There's some interesting speeches there. Now, I'm not saying that I condone the man or anything like that, but if you look at the, the speeches he made in 1939, they're very similar to other speeches that have been made at the moment. But I digress. There is a, a definite, or there has been, especially over the last 70, 80 years, a push from the Marxists to destroy the capitalists, right? In many countries, it's not just here. They did it in America, they've done it in many other countries, right? And they, they try to eat away at the people, they try to change the people, they try to tell the people they're oppressed, they try to tell the people that, you know, that their culture is a bad thing. They try and tell the people that religion is awful and that religion's got you to where you are now. So I already gave up religion and look what happened. I, I'm going to come off that, but what I will say is that Marxism wanted to destroy the capitalist West so that it could put Marxism in place. Moreover, a socialist country, right, under a communist banner. That's quite a lot to take in because I always thought that socialism, socialism and communism was communism. But why is it people from within communist countries make speeches and say, our great socialist state? That's for them to explain. Whatever, that's neither here nor there. What I've understood is also that these people have also helped Islam come in to help do the job as well. What they don't realize is that if Islam gets its way, then you won't have what they want. They'll be tossed aside. A bit like actually the people that help put socialism in place. Usually what happens is when you help to put socialism into a position of power, they then kill you. Reasons? If you were this effective of being able to get them in there, and you're then when they're in there, you realize how bad they are, you could be that effective of getting rid of them. And nobody wants a threat now, do they? So in the same token, if you were a socialist that, say for instance, has been facilitated Islam, you might find yourself in a little bit of a pickle should Islam get a position of power. 
know anybody else who's gone against Islam fucked, like myself and many others, but we take that chance. However, the powers that be have literally empowered the police and also indoctrinated them to believe that anybody waving at St. George's Cross and being proud is a literal Nazi and bat a fuck out of them, which we saw at the last <coughs> St. George's Day. The boys and girls all went out and then they got kicked the fuck out by the police. Now, would you see that on a plasticine march? No, you wouldn't. Kid gloves. So much so that when a Jewish person goes out there trying to agitate Islam, which is what it was, right? And I'll call it for what it was, okay? They were going to arrest the Jewish person because the simple thing was the plasticine march has to go ahead. And also, we're cowards and we can't handle that lot. And thirdly, you're one on your own. And yes, you used to be privileged and have, you know, top slot. But it seems that Islam's taken over just lately and they come before you. Sorry, old boy. So that kind of seemed how that one was. But there is a pecking order, Islam being at the top and St. George and his followers right at the bottom. Because, let's be honest, if you had a nation of people that all of a sudden, God forbid, become all fucking proud of their country and also very nationalistic, then that would be a massive problem going forward because, A, they're not gonna fall for your propaganda and your bullshit and they might actually start pushing back. They might actually start realizing that Islam's a negative force and needs to be reined in at least, probably more, right? They might then realize also when they look into history that who actually brought Islam over and who's causing a lot of this trouble themselves. They might also look at, I don't know, <clears throat> Marxism, socialism, communism, all of those things as poisonous cults that are there to do no good for man nor beast. Just a thought. So, the powers that be must get rid of nationalism, they must get rid of like England's identity, and not just that. England's one of the most powerful countries on the planet because um, it breeds people that can do a little bit of everything. You've got people over in Asia that are like super intelligent, but they can't cook, or they can't do this, or they can't do that. They're one thing mainly. Not all of them, but a lot of them. All right. But well, we've got intelligent, but we've got doers. We've got all the different boxes you need to tick to be a nation that could, oh yeah, colonize half the world. Now that nation needs to be attacked because if you want to replace the things that we've all been used to, you need to take the threat out. And they've been doing that successfully for the last fuck knows how many years, slowly eroding away. You know, religion, oh, you don't want any of that. You're better than that. Religion, look what it did to you. So they've slowly eroded away everything that's English and they're gonna carry on. But I have a feeling that a lot of the left are gonna wake up to what's happening. And the right, many of them already have. And you can start talking about things that you wouldn't have dreamed of talking about years ago, right? Now to people, and they agree. Why? Because they're waking up. This is a massive threat to the system, I can't tell you. Operation Looking Glass that went on for years realized in 2012 that the end goal wasn't going to be the position of power. It will be wielded forever, I should say, by the system. It worked out that it was going to lose control. So from 2012 onwards, shut up that one, got rid of it, and 2014 onwards was the project to flood the West with a culture that will never fit in the nor will it ever assimilate, so it will try and take over. Knowing full well that what you'll end up doing there is creating civil war, which is exactly what they want. Why would you do that? Well, if you can't get your own way, you might as well take away your bowl, ball and fuck the goalpost. And that's where we are. But that's why you'll see local councils banning the fucking St. George's flag, police waded into anybody showing any levels of nationalism or love for their country, and this is gonna carry on. So remember this, if you're going to a demonstration, prepared to be battered by the police that are supposed to be there to protect you because they're politicized and they fucking hate you. As do the ruling class, as do the educated, as do most of the people above you. And I don't mean better than you, I meant either financially above you 
or some people who are in more power than you. Just expect the worst luck. Anyway, I'm here on site, I gotta go. If you like the content I'm making and you wanna support my work, here's a few links in the description, but only if you can afford it. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next one.